TBR's going out the window, but that happens. Oh. Hello, my loves, and thank you for joining me. It's Kirsten, and it's the start of my 24 hour readathon. Disclaimer it's a very chill readathon, and I do sleep because I can't go with no sleep like it, it just doesn't happen. I will have the announcement video all linked below for you if you're interested in what it's actually about and all the different prompts. I do have full prompts but the idea of this is to be very relaxed, very chill and it's more just taking a day for you just to rest and read and have a bit of time for you. That will do for all the intro to this. I'll let me talk about the books that I want to read for this day then we'll get started. It is 9.45 at the moment. Bit of a later start than what I wanted but I did wake up with a headache. So I don't know how much reading we're gonna get done today, but I'm hoping that once I've done this, I'm gonna go eat and then hopefully that will help settle the headache. We'll see. But the books. The first one that I'm really excited to read is If You're Stabby by Kaz Windness. Now this is actually a comic that's been compiled together. I don't really read comics or things like this, but I saw the cover on Instagram and I fell in love with it. I thought it was so cute. So I had to have a copy. So that's that's one. It's going to be probably a 15 minute thing. It's not going to take much time at all, but I won. I feel really accomplished to have a book finished and off my TBR that easily and to like I say I'm really intrigued with the art and everything in this one so we're gonna see it's just a unicorn that is really miserable and solves problems by stabbing. Then another one that's in a different format is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 9. I always like to have a manga in my 24-hour readathons because it's nice to break it up like don't get me wrong I can sit there and read a novel for a whole chunk of time if I'm really into it however sometimes I just need that break and whether it's a break of like going outside or whether it's a break of having different formatting it really does help I'm not gonna lie this one's gonna be the decider of whether I continue on with this series I wouldn't have many left after this one there's only 13 volumes but I have kind of lost my love for this one. Tokyo Ghoul started out really interesting for me. We're following a main character who has one foot in the human world, one foot in the ghoul world, which ghouls look exactly like humans. They just need human flesh to survive. Um, and obviously they're hunted down for this. So it was really interesting to have a main character that sees both sides of the story. And it called into a lot of like question of, is it right because it's not their fault? That's the way they have to live. Like it, it was really interesting. But the last couple of volumes have just been a lot about fighting and it's been a lot more action based and I don't know, I haven't really been getting on with that. I feel like we've lost some of the plot that could have been explored a bit more. So I want to see if this one goes along the same path as the last couple, if it kind of goes back to what I was enjoying and that's going to kind of decide for me whether I continue on with this series or not. So that's that one. Then we do have two actual books. One is a novella and this is where the drowned girls go by Shauna Maguire. This is the seventh book in the series and I love this series. This is a series of portal fantasies. The first book starts off with kind of like a bit of a murder mystery going on and then the second book goes prequel to that and then the third book continues on from the first book and the fourth book was another prequel and then and that's what I like about it because all the prequels you get a lot of background into the different characters which I really like and yeah and I just really really enjoy this one so I can't wait to continue on with this series. I love it. It's great and it's it's always short so I always good fun. And then the other book that I am unsure about is Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Selena Godden and this is a book that I saw loads of hype around when it first came out because of the wordplay in the title, also the formatting's really different, some of it is proper novelised format, some of it is poems and it's just I'm really intrigued to see how I'm going to like this because of the formatting but I haven't heard anything lately with it. The person that I really trust for reviews which is Christina, she didn't get on with this so it'll be interesting to see whether I can get on with it or not. Again, another shorter book because of the fact that it is in some poetry format. So like some pages are like this. So even though it's like almost 300 pages long, because of the formatting of it, it's not going to be that long. So I've got four quite short books, but that I love because if I can get all four of these done, I can be like, I've got four books off my never ending TBR. Like it is ridiculously long at this point. I keep adding to it. I clearly don't mind it. Um, 
but it would just be really nice to get a few books off of that. However, the week that I'm filming this, I have been reading The Last Wish, which is the first book in the Witcher series. Let's say the first book is kind of like a prequel. It's a book of short stories. You get two short story collections and then you get the first novelised full format Witcher book, which then continues on from there. And I'm really enjoying this. And yesterday I was so busy, I didn't actually get to read my short story from this. Like I only got to read a little bit. So I'm kind of tempted to read a short story from this as well. It's not technically part of the TBR, but I would really like to read it. And it's only about 40 pages. So I'm thinking I might be able to fit it in. So that's another one that's a maybe. So those are all the books that I'm planning to read today. We'll see how much actually gets read. As I said, I do have a bit of a headache. Definitely the manga in the comic and Sean McGuire's book will 100% get done. Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start with this one first because I know that this is the one that I'm the most hesitant about. And then I, if I'm not enjoying it and I'm not invested, I can break it up with other things and then come back to it. That's the plan. We'll see what actually happens. But I do have a Discord channel. So everyone on my Discord has been getting live updates of all of this. So they know how much I've got read already and they know all of that. So if you did want to join, I will have that in the description box below. It's always good fun over there. And a few people do like to join in as well. And it's just really good so we can cheer each other on. But yeah. I think that was everything that I needed to say at the start of this. Right, I'm gonna go have breakfast. I'll catch up with you when I've started a book. Um, but first, breakfast. readathon's not going well. So it's just after 12 um, as I've been sort of reading for the last two hours. I've already DNF'd a book. <laughs> Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death. I've got 16 pages in so I'm really not far into it at all and normally I would wait to about the 50 to 100 page mark before I decide whether I'm going to continue on with the book or not. Yeah no it's, it's just not happening. It could be my headache but I'm just finding this book really really confusing and a bit convoluted and I just I'm not enjoying it and I've had a flick through some of the pages and it really is a very quick book because the last bit of this is all poems and that's going to be really quick and easy to read but I don't like them so I've read a couple just to see whether I think it would be worth carrying on with this book but I don't I don't like the poems in this and I'm not enjoying the narration style and the way it's written I'm just finding really like I said confusing and um, with a headache it's just it's taking way too much brain power than what I have the energy for and thinking about it would I pick this book up even if I didn't have a headache knowing that this is how the writing style is I don't think so I really don't think so I'm gonna read a part that was just confusing and I read it out to my partner as well and he was a bit like I understand it but it is a bit much. It says, I am she, she is here, I see you, I hear you, I was always here, there and everywhere. Here was I, and I am I, and I am she. Why? <laughs> Why did that need to be there? And the majority of it is written in that sort of style, and it's almost like a stream of consciousness S, but I don't mind stream of consciousness like I can get on with that as a writing style I just can't with this so yeah that's not that's not happening so we're not starting off great because we've already DNF'd a book but I have made some progress with Tokyo Girl volume 9 and I'm enjoying this one more than the last two volumes that I read so the last two volumes were this big battle that went on between ghouls and humans and they're the ghouls certain ghouls are trying to instigate this big war and trying to overthrow humans other ghouls are then fighting against them and then you've also got the human kind of investigator government side of it that's trying to stop that and enforce them and eliminate them and this part volume 9 we're starting off seeing that human government side of things and I'm really enjoying that because it's quite interesting to get their view on it um, so so far I'm really intrigued and really interested and you're learning more about the ghouls and I'm, I'm gonna have to put the word up here but because uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it they're sinks not quite sure and um, basically it's this part of them that they can use to fight and stuff and there's what kind of differs them between human and ghouls and so you're learning more about that which I find really interesting so yeah I'm enjoying this and also because of my headache I'm finding this really easy to read and it's not 
causing me to have to focus loads so I am thinking about changing up my readathon day to especially while my headache's going strong to more of a manga day because I have quite a few volumes on my shelves that would be nice to get through so I'm thinking I might pull those off my shelves and do that instead especially as I've given up on the novel that I was meant to read. I still definitely want to get to where the drowned girls go but I think I'm gonna wait for this to a bit later in the day and hopefully my headache has settled then. Until then I'm thinking for the next few hours I'm just gonna focus on manga because it's easy to read. I love the artwork in it and it's I don't have to concentrate really hard on it which is perfect for my headache so I think I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have a look at my shelves we're gonna pull off all the ones that I haven't read and we're just gonna mood read out of that lot so TBR is going out the window but that happens oh and of course I will still actually be reading if you're stabby for sure because again easy read so that's that's what we're going to focus on and whether I actually get to where the drowned girls go will just depend on how my head's feeling for now let's go look at the manga shelves and see what we can find and do that but ah, oh, I'm so disappointed with <laughs> Mrs Death Mrs Death because I was really looking forward to the wordplay but yeah it's a bit too extreme and it does look at death and time and life and it's just it, it it's not it's not for me I'm I'm not getting on with this as a book as a writing style and it's just I could try and push through to the page 50 but I know that my feelings on this won't change especially because I have been flicking through it and I've tried reading like a few, like a page here and a poem there but it's just it's not for me so goodbye and on that note goodbye let's go have a look at my shelves and choose the manga because we don't need the ramble territory especially when I have a headache because I've tried filming this update this will be the third time now because I don't make sense when I have a headache and I just talk nonsense, which I know you're used to, but like a more extreme way. I'm gonna stop, Let, let's look at the shelves, let's go. So we're changing plans again. I know, I know. Um, it's now one o'clock. I pulled off all the different manga that I haven't read. Um, so I've got quite a nice selection, which I'm definitely going to get to. However, volume nine, I just finished it and oh, I'm really loving it. So as I said, we started seeing the investigator part, which I enjoyed. Then we went to our main character and I'm really enjoying that because he has this mission to find the ghoul that he has part of inside him, which is why he's part human, part ghoul. The doctor that did that to him is experimenting more. So now I really want to read that. So I'm thinking I'm going to have lunch. We're going to read volume 10, possibly 11, because I think that's all I've got left. Um, and then I, I would have to buy 12 and 13 if I really like it. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then I will start. I'm actually feeling like changing after I've read volume 10, potentially 11, depending on how much I like Tokyo Ghoul. I might pick up Othello, the manga, because this I like doing to see if I then want to get the original, or at least that's the idea, um, but I love manga classics. I think they're great. Um, I haven't spoken about them in absolute ages, but I was gushed about them a lot last year because I just really, really enjoyed them. So I might do that, or I might do one of the other manga. We don't know, but the next stop is definitely volume 10 because this ended in such a good way like I love the fact that the doctor is experimenting and it's just oh, there's so much there's so much going on and this felt like it had a bit more I know I said I didn't really like seven and eight and that is because something that happens to our main character he goes through something really bad and that has a lot of consequences and it was very violent whereas now this is getting back into the realm of just being really really interesting and I'm really intrigued to see where it's going to go so that's the plan lunch volume 10 and then we'll 
go from there. But I'm feeling really happy with my decision to go for Monga Day. It's definitely the vibe that I'm feeling today. So yeah, okay, anyway, lunch. and the headache is gone. I feel so, so much better. It is ridiculous. So I have read another two volumes of Tokyo Ghoul. So I've read 10 and 11 and that is all I own. I need to go out and get 12 and 13, which I'm not doing today, but I'm really enjoying this. This is so much back into the plot, the build up. Obviously I won't go into loads of it because it is later in the series, but what I was loving about the start of the series is coming back and I love it for that. And it's starting to get really dark into things that are going on and I'm really, really intrigued. So absolutely love this. Definitely will be getting 12 and 13 and finishing off this. I don't know if I'll go on to the second series of Tokyo Ghoul because I know there is a second series, but I don't know. Uh, but my partner does want to read these as well. So I will be keeping them for him to read. And then my partner actually helped me choose the next book for me to read or the next manga, I should say, because I wasn't sure. And he said actually to go with Othello. So I'm really excited about this because I was kind of thinking maybe I'll do that one. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for him to decide. And he said, actually, yeah, do this one without me even saying that's the one I was thinking about. So clearly he knows me well. So this is Shakespeare's Othello and I, I love manga classics so much. I think this is going to be great. This has all the actual text from the Shakespeare play, which is amazing. And that's why I like these, especially the Shakespeare ones, because I think if you are a bit daunted and you're not sure, especially because plays, they're hard to just read, like they're meant to be seen. I think a manga version of this really helps because you get the artwork to go alongside it. So this is gonna be the next one. And then after that, who knows? I don't know, but I'm really in a manga mood. And I was talking to my partner about this and I was like, I don't get this often when I'm in the mood, but it does happen when I feel ill or under the weather where I just want to kind of watch something. Like I would want to watch TV, but I don't, I don't have a TV and I don't have like a Netflix subscription or anything like that. So it's only really YouTube. But if I don't feel like doing that and I just want to watch just a TV series, then manga is my go-to. For some reason that works for me and it's like watching a tv episode and i want to like get the next episode and carry on and i don't know if that makes sense to anyone else but although to be fair my partner said he understood it so you'll have to let me know if you do read manga does that feel like a tv series to you because for me it does and maybe that's just because i don't watch tv really but Anyway, beside the point, I'm going to continue on with this. I'm now on the sprints with Jan. She's celebrating her 5,000 subscribers, which is so, so well deserved. So she's holding some reading sprints. So I'm joining on that, which is nice to have a bit of a background. Technically, I'm meant to be reading right now, but I'm using the time to quickly update instead. So yeah, so that's, that's the plan. This is what we're gonna be reading and we're gonna go from there. And I'm feeling so much better and so much happier and just, ah, oh, it's so good. But yeah, it's actually weird because a couple of people on Discord, they've also got a headache at the same time and they're just like, I'm gonna wait and hopefully if it goes, I can join in and read and stuff. So I don't know, maybe it's just something in the air today. Bit of a weird one. But regardless, I'm feeling better and I hope you're all doing well. But yeah, okay, right. I'm gonna stop talking and actually start this for a little bit. And I think we've got about five Five minutes before the sprint ends so we'll see how far I can get in five minutes.
it is now half past six and I've made some good progress with Othello. I am halfway through. I am up to at three scene four and that's page 223 and I'm really really enjoying this. This is such a tragic one though like it's so sad so we're following Othello and Othello is a soldier in Italy. I think it's Italy or at least that's where it's all based and he has married someone called Desmoda. She is absolutely beautiful and amazing and they fell in love however his friend his best friend the person that he loves and trusts the most Iago he hates Othello like with a passion I don't know why but he does he hates him and he has decided that he's going to destroy Othello's life and so he's come up with this plot to make Othello question Desmonda's her loyalty and faith and love and he puts about that she is sleeping with somebody else and has feelings for somebody else and it brings about this massive ruin and this is kind of where I've just got to is that part where Othello is now believing what Iago is saying and how Iago has set it all up and you're seeing all of that because you're seeing it from Iago's perspective and his theories behind it all and it's just so cruel and sly but I'm I'm loving it it's really good and I think the manga does a, such an amazing job with the artwork of bringing this to life it is absolutely fantastic so yeah loving that but I do want to take a break like that's been quite a lot and I'm thinking I don't know do I want to take a break from reading completely or just read a manga and go to an actual novel kind of tempted to read a novel but I'm also not sure because I kind of want to read some of The Last Wish which I said so I might read a short story from that to be honest have a little break then go and do some food and then we'll see what the rest of the evening brings I'm not actually feeling too tired which is great so I definitely want to finish this today and yeah I think I will read a short story of The Last Wish which I know I haven't started in this video it's been from my weekly vlog but it would be nice to get that done actually I kind of want to get that finished today decided so yeah that's that's the plan and then the rest of the evening once I've finished this one I think I'm gonna try and pick up If You're Stabby which is a nice quick fun read because at that point I think I'll be getting tired and then we'll go from there maybe another manga potentially I don't know I don't know I have lots of things I'm just really pleased that my headache settled the reading sprints with Dan was lovely it was just a few that I managed to join in but it was really nice to just have a bit of company while I'm reading I don't know why I keep saying this because I'm just repeating the same thing that I've already said of let's go read the last wish and do some food because that is all I'm thinking about to be honest is food although I am just making a pizza so it's nice and quick although I now use naan bread for the pizza base and oh my god it is so good I love it so much so I'll definitely include that but yeah okay right food and the last wish that is the plans <music> feeling that tired um I need to sort out my washing because that's finished but I have finished Othello and I really really liked this this was really good I almost like cried at the end I'm not gonna lie it was just so beautiful and so tragic and just so good I loved this this was so so fantastic I really do recommend manga classics if you're interested in getting into classics but you are a bit daunted these are so so good so yeah I, I, I adored this this was fantastic I did also read a little bit of The Last Wish so I read 
read The Edge of the World because The Last Wish, I don't think I mentioned this, is um, a short story collection that's kind of like a prequel to The Witcher series and it's all based on like folklore and fairy tales so earlier in the week I was talking about the fact that Cinderella and Snow White, Rapunzel, those sort of things get mentioned, they're just really dark versions of it. So I've read one short story, I've got about 80 pages left and I am kind of tempted, do I read a bit more of this? I mean I have till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning but I am feeling like I could probably stay up another hour or so so I might do that but I do also want to read If You're Stubby and I know this is only going to take me a few moments so I'm thinking I need to sort out my washing probably tidy up my room a bit and then maybe read If You're Stubby and then decide from there if I'm going to read any more tonight or not. If I do I won't be updating though because everyone will be getting ready for bed. I will update you in the morning but yeah, I'm staying up late. Normally at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I've slept by now. Like, I don't normally stay up this late in the readathons, even if I do wake up late and start them a bit later. I'm normally wanting to go to sleep at nine o'clock, so I'm pretty impressed that I'm still up at 11. And I am kind of tempted to read more of The Last Wish. I feel kind of bad that I haven't read the Sean Maguire book, but I know I'm not gonna get that read. Like, it's not gonna happen, so I'm not gonna, not gonna try. But yeah anyway i'm again doing what i've been doing all day which is rambling at you but no i think sort the washing out read if you're stubby and then potentially read a little bit more of the last wish we'll see but we'll see in the morning what i actually finish up with and i'll probably just catch you in the morning wrapping up this readathon i hope you've enjoyed it it's been a chaotic one and completely different to what i had planned but i have enjoyed it especially now as said the headache has gone so that's felt a lot better although everyone seems to be doing really well on their reads at the minute we've had quite a few people like they've had a couple of people reading graphic novels we've got some sci-fi some audiobooks going so it's been really fun to chat to everyone on discords so that's been absolutely amazing but yeah okay i am going to get that washing sorted out that is what i need to do but yeah this has been great so i've read four manga so far that's pretty impressive. I didn't think that that's where I was going to go. Pulled off a lot of manga on my shelves, but let's face it, I don't think I'm going to get any more read unless I decide to read one in the morning, which is always a possibility. Anyway, right, I'm still talking. I'm going to go sort out my washing. I don't want to do it. Can you tell? Because I'm like <sighs> procrastinating actually sorting out my washing, but I am the one that chose to put it on this late at night, so I should really go and sort that out and then we can read a bit more. That sounds good. It is 9.58, so it is the end of the readathon, and I've had quite a good time. I have to admit, this morning I did finish up reading The Last Wish. I read the last 60 pages of this. That was really nice to spend like an hour of my morning just relaxing and reading this. But let's actually go through everything that I read. So I DNF'd Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Selim Godden. I got 15, well 16 pages into this and it was not for me unfortunately. So that was a DNF. I mean at least I tried it that's the main thing and then because of my headache we went on a bit of a manga binge so we had Tokyo Ghoul volume 9, 10 and 11 and I did really enjoy all three of these volumes and I definitely want to get the last two volumes. It's just a really interesting manga and I think it just looks at the idea of morality and who gets a say in who lives just because somebody's different. I think that's really interestingly explored and then obviously with all the extra bits that go alongside it to actually make it really fun and interesting and just I don't know I really really like it I think it's definitely building up and I can't wait to see how it ends then I read Othello by William Shakespeare and this is the full original text just put to manga format to make it easier to read and I loved this it was beautiful tragic and fantastic I just I really really did I absolutely adored it and I do think these I know I've already said it but these manga classics are such a good way to read especially Shakespeare I find because something that you're meant to see acted out 
being put to artwork is such a good idea and I think it works really well especially because it has the full original text so it's not like you're missing anything out of it it's just bringing it to life in a way that's easier so I, I highly recommend these there's quite a few of these as well and I definitely want to get some more but yeah loved loved this and I did read If You're Stabby by Kaz Witness and this was just fun this took me about 10 minutes it wasn't long at all but it was just so hilarious it is really really dark humor so just go into that prepared there is a lot of like stabby stuff in here um and some talk about like the pandemic and stuff so do check your trigger warnings before going in but i thought it was just really fun really easy and i really liked the artwork of everything i thought it was just great so yeah that was a really nice a light one and then i read 134 pages of the last wish which i did start during my weekly vlog and i really enjoyed finishing this up this weekend it was just really good it is grim style fairy tales but done in an even darker way i think and made a little bit more mature um, and it's just yeah it's just really good I think this is a really good introduction to the Witcher book I've watched the TV series and a lot of what happens in the TV series is like from these short stories they've just put it together as more of an actual like tale that goes along I'm really intrigued some of the timeline events are different from the TV series to the books but that didn't bother me it was just really nice to have an idea of what's going on definitely going to get the next short story collection and the rest of the books to be honest because I'm, I'm really enjoying this and the illustrated edition was just a delight so that was it I think we did pretty good for this readathon to be fair even though it was not my TBR only one book from my TBR I didn't finish let me get it okay technically two Mrs Death Miss Death was on my TBR but that was a DNF where the Drowned Girls Go by Shauna Maguire was on the TBR, but I didn't actually get a chance to read it. And then the other two, Tokyo Ghoul and If You're Stabby, I did actually read. So I think I've done pretty well. For a 24 hour readathon with a headache, I think that is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Just gonna toot my own horn here. But that was really good. I'm really, really pleased. I hope you have enjoyed and thank you to everyone that did take part and was chatting along. It was amazing. But yeah, that is, that is everything. So I think for this video, let's, we're going to go over unicorn again for if you're stabby because it was just such a fun read. If you've made it this far, then please put a unicorn in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it that thumbs up, subscribe and comment. My social media links will be linked below and I will of course catch you in the very next video.